What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we finished off the Ice Cavern. Woo! Ice Cavern! Woo! Woo! That means we're done, what, six temples now? That means we're technically halfway through the game, in my opinion, kind of. I mean, pfft. Anyways, also in the last episode, he's not selling blue fire? What? Are you kidding me? I saved your ass for nothing! Don't welcome me! I just saved your ass, and now you're gonna charge me outrageous prices. A fish for 200 rupees! What the heck, man? I hate- Why are you selling freaking two arrows when you could be selling blue- You're selling three arrows! Ah, oh, I hate everything! Are you serial right now? I gotta go all the way back to the ice cavern. Ah! I'll be back. <laughs> Pac-Man falling down on his face on the mini-map. That's so funny. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it to here. Holy crap, this place is really dark at night. I mean, it really makes sense, but... Um... Can we switch boots while we're in the middle of the air? We can! Super! This might not work, but we're gonna try it anyways. Yay, let's see how all this goes. Oh, I get- Really? Holy crap! Blink can hold his breath for a really long time and kind of random time too. Why one minute and 38 seconds? It's like, what? It's so strange. Those seconds feel really fast, actually. Anyways, there's a heart piece down here. I actually completely forgot about it that existed. Um, my notes said I have to wait till I get the, the a, a different item to do this. So we're actually gonna get in like two seconds here. Can we just swim straight up? No, of course we can't. Dude, this is gonna take forever. Why is this taking so long? Or maybe it just feels like it's taking so long just because... Am I even going up right now? Oh, I am. Holy crap, I felt like that took forever. I'm under ice? Oh no, this is every guy's worst nightmare, kind of. Actually, it really is. Oh no, I have an entire minute left to get out of the water. <laughs> I almost feel like what we're about to get is optional because that's a long time to get underwater. I don't think you're ever underwater for that long in this game. Huh. Interesting. Anyways. Use this freaking fire. Save us, asshole, that everybody hates. <gasps> what was his voice? I forget. Was it feminine? No, that was Darunia. I think I wanted to give him a frog voice, but that was only after I, like, gave him his actual voice. We're gonna try and give him, like, a frog voice. I don't, I don't know what the heck a frog voice is. I mean, Slippy the Toad is the only frog in all that talks. So I don't really have much to go off here. Uh oh, I've come back to life. Was that? That I think that was his voice, actually. Was it you who saved me? Don't be nervous. Why would I be nervous? What? It looked like you have a hard time breathing underwater. Oh, well, I don't breathe underwater at all, so it's not that I have a hard time. I just don't do it. As an expression of my gratitude, I grant you this tunic. With this, you won't choke underwater. Maybe if you did this a long time ago, I would have been able to save your Zora asses. Not really, I mean, this place froze over and I was kind of stuck in a room for seven years. That would suck. I wonder if Link was like unconscious for all of a sudden. I mean, it, it, I'm pretty sure he was, because that's why he was all like shocked when he, when he realized he aged seven years. But, you know, still, man. Still. It's the tough life for the Linkus Malinkus. The blue tunic, yay! So in other Zelda games, different tunics give you different effects. In this game, they all give you the, they all like, um, give you the same effect minus whatever like their main purpose is. Like you know, the Goron tunic gives you ability to last long, last forever in fire. This one gives you the ability to last forever in water. Um, crap! There is a skull There's skull chills here somewhere. And I'm quickly gonna look at where those are. Two seconds, guys. Okay, so apparently, oh no, it's raining today. I know, I see it, I see the daylight. Everything is looking a bit brighter, but actually not really. Aha! Oh, the she blows. Am I gonna make it there? I'm not. Such negativity. I'm not gonna make it. I might as well give up right to meow. Right to meow. It is, okay, this is one of those sculptures you can only get at night, so that's why I'm like, kind of, flipping my, oh, I can't even get that right now, can I? Nope. There's no way in all heck we're gonna ever reach that ever. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, 
I guess, let's take a look. Does, does the river look any different from what it used to? You know, let's go down the stream so we get rupees if that's still a thing seven years later. I don't know why it wouldn't be, but I mean, so far I'm not getting any more poopies. Oh, is it because I'm too tall now? Ha, huh, that's funny. Oh, I didn't realize I was tall enough to walk or Maybe the level's just lower? No. The bean seller is not there. Wait, what? Holy crap, I feel like I glitched out a bit. <gasps> no. 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 He's gone. No. The horrors. The terrors. It's terrible. Well, that's very unfortunate. The bean sour's gone, guys! Man, okay, so this bean sprout brings you all the way up Zora's River, pretty much to the end of it. I mean, not exactly, but it brings you pretty close, so. Been stretching while he's taking a ride on a floating bean sock plant thing. What? What's, why do those things fly? I don't get it. I mean, they don't grow and, like, you know, push me up with their growths, but they just literally fly. It's really strange. They fly and set paths, no less. Which is even more weird. I don't think so, though. Let's call it Pona. Um, I don't remember Pona's song. So, let's go find the Pona song. So, Sawi. Sawi. Up apart. And, of course, I don't have the Ocarina. Now. Why would I have such a thing out? Ocarina, come to me. Come to me, Ocarina! Alright. Uh... Okay. I did get it. I wasn't sure if it was up apart or down apart. Epona, come to me! My bitch! I mean, my horse. Yay, he's so happy she didn't hear it. She didn't hear it, guys. We're all set. Oh, she's pawing the ground, though. Hoofing the ground? I guess we were like hoofing the ground since, you know, Epona doesn't really have any paws. She doesn't have any bare paws. Alright, let's go. Da -na, da -na, da -na, da -na, da -na, da -na. I don't know why I'm singing this song. I can probably speed up a bit, you know, I don't know why I'm going so slow. Smack that ass and give me this one! Smack that ass and give me this one! Woo! Oh, man. Look at a bonus tail, it looks so short. Why is it so short? It's not short, but it just looks short because, I mean, part of it's black and it kind of fades into white. Fade to gray! Um, I was kind of sad we are going to get here at night, but that's actually probably better. DUDE! You could have jumped over that. What's the reason why I was slapping your sexy ass, Epona? That's weird. God dang it, Epona, and your sexy ass ass. Your sexy ass ass. You know what I'm talking about, the sexy ass ass. Seven asses. And here we go. What does, like, how do you look like, though? Wait, have we been here yet? I don't think we have. Oh, Epona, come on, you're a horse. You can jump over that dirt patch. If you can jump over fences, you can jump over that dirt patch. We have been here. Have we been here? I'm actually not entirely sure anymore. I thought we were, but everything I know is a lie, so maybe not. Lakeside Laboratory. We probably already read that. I'm assuming we did because, I mean, I don't think it would change from seven years. Hey, the old guy's still here. Hello, old guy. Hello there, sonny. I'm researching the process of making medicine by mixing like highly as water with various unusual compounds. Perhaps you've met the old lady from the potion shop. She's like a student of mine. Ho, ho, ho! You... I think he said the same thing as before, didn't he? Weird. Weird. Look at all these freaking weapons he has. Like, all these giant harpoons. Is he secretly a madly ripped man under there? He's wearing, like, a mask, an old man mask. Or he's, like, freaking Roshi from... Dragon Ball, where he's just all like massive and scared. What the heck is a shark? Um, 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 what? <laughs> How did he get a shark in here? <laughs> That's such a funny Easter egg. It's like, why does this exist? Ah, <laughs> uh, poorly rendered shark. Whoa! We did it. Um, what do we? Oh, we can use the hooks underwater for some reason. Okay, hit the gold. Oh, it oozes green blood. It oozes green blood. Ugh. All right, take it off. Everybody, take it off, and now slowly swim to the top. 
I didn't use any iron boots to sink to the bottom of your thing. If you if you remember us talking to him a long time ago, he, he said he was watching how far we dived and we were doing little babby dives and to come back when we grew up and got better diving skills. You may not have noticed, but I've been watching you. You've done you dove one meter just now, but I wouldn't call that a real dive. Wait, what? 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 Do I just have to swim down like this? Oh, come on. I had an entire cycle left. You could have dove more like... Why can't you dive more? You have a freaking Zoro tunic on. Why would you ever need to stop diving? Is this just buoyancy that does that? You may not have noticed, but in six meters, you should be able to go dive deeper. We've got to go deeper. I don't get it. Dude! I'm pressing the dive, not to climb up. Okay, what if we did this? And then... What would happen if we went like this? Can we cheat it? Like, like what? <laughs> and how is he even watching me when his back is turned? That's really freaking creepy actually. Does he have cameras installed all over here? If he has cameras installed in here, what if he has cameras installed all over the place? Like in Link's house. Dun dun dun! Come on, Master Roshi. What do you gotta say now? He made that off notice! Six meters! What?! I could swear you should be able to do this right now. It's <laughs> good. I'm gonna check this real quick because I'm pretty dang sure that's how you're supposed to do that. You're supposed to cheat by using your iron boots, but it's not working. So, one second. Oh, I know how to get it now. It all makes sense to me, guys. The world, it just. It's my oyster now for some reason. I don't know why it's an oyster. What? Okay, um. The ability. Oh, 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 I missed my. I missed my jump. Well, I guess we're just taking a ride on my disco stick. Hey, the scarecrow's still there. One of them. I don't remember who was who. What happened to the other one? No. Hello? Oh, I was gonna say, you better take me back. You better not just, like, throw me off and go away or something. So I kind of want to go back home. My home, I mean, back to where it all began. Right over! Yeah. There we go. Oh, interesting. Okay, um, let's climb this ladder. Let's climb. Oh my good lord, it's a Gway! Get out of your Gway. Out of my way, Gway. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Why is this tower even here? You can't even access it! Oh my good lord, I'm glad those guys can't hit me. And that guy has a purple ta tail. It kind of looks like a purple rupee, actually. Oh, Chile! We did it! Yay! Watch out. Dude, I just want to jump off! I hate you, Gway. Get out of my Gway, etc., etc. I already made that joke, so I don't know why I'm making it again. I mean, seriously, that was a terrible joke to even make to begin with. So yeah, Lake Harley has been drained, besides like the bottom of it. I don't know what the heck happened, or why the heck it happened, but it did. Well, let's go take a look at the entrance to Zoro's Domain here. Is it just... <laughs> it's all iced off, till it's completely flat against here. That's kind of funny. Oh, you can kind of see through the wall. Well, I was able to see through the wall. Dude, let's see through the wall again. Because you can kind of see like an ice block behind it, I think. No, I guess not. Okay, whatever. Pfft, implying I care. Pfft. Do we have anything else to do? Because I kind of don't want to do the next thing here. Because it's fishing. I kind of want to spend an entire episode doing that. Just because, you know, it's kind of important that it is an entire episode by itself. Hey, aren't you the fairy buddy? I met a long time ago. Wow, you grew, dude. Yeah, that happens. When, with time. Well, here's your song. Oh, what? No, I never forget. You, you're the one who I did forget. I'm actually really happy. Aren't you? If you have an ocarina, play that song, baby. You just said you're gonna show me the song. Hey, it's ocarina. Play that song with me. I don't remember it. Oh no, I think it was like. I don't remember it, guys. This is most unfortunate. I, mean, I guess it would make the most sense for- No, it's not! This is terrible! Oh no. No. Uh oh. That sounds A or something? I don't think so, that doesn't sound right. I don't remember it! 
Put it like that, you'll never remove the scarecrow's heart, baby. I thought you were supposed to remind me! Dude, you were just about- What?! What a dick move, so now I gotta figure out what- <sighs> I guess the only way to figure out what song you did play- Well, for me, I just have to look back at the videos and figure out where the heck I did that, but... I mean, the way I guess you're supposed to figure out what your song was, if you forgot it, is by um, going back in time, and I think they show you your song. But seriously, that is the most annoying thing ever! Whoa, can we not get up there? <gasps> oh, we can't! Oh, well, never mind the whole fishing thing, then. I mean, I guess we could just start the next temple now, which I'm really scared to do, because um, terrifying times are about to be had. <laughs> the water temple is what we're about to begin, and I just kind of spoiled what we're doing, oops. But, the thing is, actually, let's swim. It would probably be quicker if we just swam to this right here and then sunk down. Oh, it's like a bridge here. That's cool. Yeah, so the water temple... Uh, it's it's an interesting place. <laughs> it's it's pretty interesting, you know. Um, I actually have a bit of a story with the water temple that I'm going to explain right now instead of waiting till the next episode. And that's how you enter the water temple. Yay! It's cool to me that there's like a mi little mini puzzle just to get into the water temple. That's how foreboding this place is. And look, it's slowly open. This is the gem of Ocarina of Time, pretty much. The water temple. Let's take off our iron boots so we can fall to the top. Yeah, so for a long time I played Ocarina of Time. And... Oh, how old would I have been? This would have been in the 8th grade. Seven, seventh or 8th grade. And I was... Should I start it? I guess not. Let's... Mm, I'm going to quickly tell the story and then I'll start this temple in the last episode. So if you don't care about my little stupid story, then you can leave the episode now. So thanks, bye, I love you, but thanks for just leaving early, asshole. Okay, so when I was like, well, I guess we could walk around or something, though. I'm not gonna do anything, though. In my, yeah, when I was like the 7th or 8th grade, I was playing this game a lot, and I got to the Water Temple. I believe I had seen Nintendo Capri Suns Let's Play this once at this point. And I was, I was stuck in here. And the whole reason I was playing Ocarina of Time at the time was because my internet was done port. So I was like, well, crap. And then I, um, I... I ran out of keys and I had nowhere to go and I was really confused. I mean, I always had somewhere to go, but I had no idea how to get to where I was supposed to go or where the heck I was even supposed to go. And I checked like every room like 30 times looking for something. And I don't even remember which place this was, that, like which part of the temple I got stuck on. But I just remember wandering around the same places over and over again looking for a key or a different way out or a seeker or pretty much anything. And it never worked. And so, I mean, that, that was a stupid story with nothing really in it. But that just goes to show how terrible this freaking temple is. And I'm scared to do it because, you know, it's terrifying and I have terrible, terrible memories because, you know, my internet didn't work. So, therefore, I couldn't look up a guide and it was terrible. And now I know how people in the olden days feel, felt they needed their Nintendo power. Thanks a lot for watching this episode of Let's Play Ocarina of Time. In the next episode, we start the Water Temple. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.